Welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Reborn. Well, for this Fashion Friday, we are going to get Brooklyn ready. Brooke is going home to her new mommy. She got a new mommy. Hooray! <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting her box ready. Getting her everything packaged up. So I thought you would like to watch and follow along. So yeah. I am going to get everything ready to send her home. So exciting. So, so exciting. Oh, Bunch of air pillows in my way. Okay. All right. I need one of these. Just got everything stacked up here that's going to go in the box. Oh, so much to do. Nice pink ribbon to tie up her blanket with. I need, I need a little... I think they're the same size. Okay, so I need a little bag for those things. And... Find my pink tissue. All right, we got pink tissue paper. All right, we are off and running. Okay, so powder in the rain. <laughs> All right, so we have a diaper here for her head, for her to go home with her head protected. So for now, I'm going to put her pacifier with passy clip into here, and she has four more pacifiers to go home. And then she has a diaper pin right she can take home with her. So we'll tie that bag up. That's a nice little bag of trinkets. Yeah. All right. So that's one little bag of goodies going home with her. Now, I can use this piece of Valentine's tissue paper for her diapers. Her diapers she gets has a Kirkland diaper, a Pooh Bear diaper, a Kudzi diaper, and another um I can't remember what these are called, but it's got strawberries on it. And she's wearing one with flowers on it right now. So, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna wrap up these diapers. Oh, what a night last night, let me tell you. My John's uncle has dementia. Now he's been dealing with it quite well over the years. Um, believe it or not, he's been doing quite, quite well with it. Um, he He's uh, meticulous with um, note writing, so he writes himself whole lot of notes to remind himself of stuff so he doesn't get too confused um so he's been doing quite well he's 93 and he you know we're just now having to possibly step in and unfortunately put him into a nursing home everything's been arranged he when you know when he had all his 100 percent of his faculties with about him he um He arranged everything in advance. Um, his nursing homes arranged. His all his plan of care is completely arranged. John is the one that has to finally say it's time for you to go into a nursing home, and John does not want to have to do that. But because his uncle's been a very independent man for years and ever, like you know, but. Um, last night we got a phone call from, oh, come on now. We got a phone call, i try using my fingernail instead. Um, we got a phone call from his next door neighbor and his next door neighbor said he was going, kind of losing it. So he was losing it saying that someone's trying to kill him. So we know that it's getting there to be time. 
we don't know if we want to, if it's going to be time straight away for nursing home or if it's going to be time to put him in um, or to get, like we've been trying to convince him to let us get him um, like some kind of home care, you know, like um, keep him at home, but have someone come in who can um, cook him a hot meal at once a day. Some tissue right here too so i'm gonna use that package first um you know just have someone come in and cook meals for them once a day have someone um that can if, if they see that you know things don't look or that he's not you know behaving so well you know she could contact the doctor or all these different things that you know that this person could do for him Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna put that in that bag too. I've got a little toothbrush here for brushing her hair. Just a little bit of, um, I don't spray um, any hair conditioner straight on her head ever. I always, always, always spray her the brush or dip the brush in water and then brush her hair. I never spray her directly. So here's a little toothbrush to brush her hair with. go all right so we're gonna wrap up some presents yeah presents 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 I'm gonna have to cut some more ribbon not sure how many presents I'm going to be wrapping because I don't know how many I'm gonna end up making them into but we'll see hey wow I actually hit the middle that's off the first Woohoo! all right so I'm not going to wrap these but I'm gonna send some little sandals with her I'm not going to wrap those. I'm just going to stick them in the bag. I'm also going to send a baby bottle. It's empty, but it's good for um, role playing. Ah, that's weird. And I'm sending a little bag of candy. Just because candy's always good. So then we got her blanket and her lovey right here. We'll sit right there for a sec. All right. So, first things first, we have a little onesie with moon and stars and clouds and butterflies on it. So a nice little onesie. And then there's a short outfit that she's worn once. It looks really cute on her. Those little shorts are, um, they've got flamingos and sunglasses and flowers and pineapples. And it has a matching little tank, tank dress kind of thing. So cute that in one package together and then I have another onesie here that doesn't go with anything in particular I just love it the little tur um, alligators on it and a turtle so I'm gonna put that in there there that's one present all right now I need to cut some ribbon Brooklyn I'll cut some pink or some yellow and pink once I find the end of the pink oh my goodness where is the end of the pink there it is all right so let's say one two probably four I'll do it This one's getting low on ribbon. <laughs> There's three, and we'll do one more. I'll probably do it four packages. Four. All right. Four packages. All right. So, yeah, it was an interesting night last night. John left. Well, it was like, like I said, it was late when the neighbor called. Which is weird because normally he'd be, uh, his uncle would be sleeping at the time that he was kind of freaking out. So, yeah, it was kind of interesting. So John had to rush to Toronto and uh, he had to rush to Toronto and... Uh,
I need to rush to Toronto to um, get deal with like you know calm Uncle Dick down. Now his brother went over and calmed him down as well, which was a bonus. So his brother was there when John got there because um, the am they, the neighbor called an ambulance and the ambulance didn't want to leave until. They knew someone was going to be there with him because they were concerned. Um, oh, yeah, he had the ambulance, he had the police, he had... Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, needless to say, I don't know when John's going to come home. And the worst thing is, I, I, I sleep terrible, terrible, terrible without John snoring. His snoring's like my, my lullaby. Whoops, I forgot to tie one of these on here. Cause yeah, his snoring is like one of my, is like a lullaby to me. So when it's not being my lullaby is not being played beside my head at like full blast. <laughs> Love his snoring. I can't sleep. So yeah, I didn't sleep the greatest, but luckily my son is going to drive me to the post office to ship this little girl. So she'll get out to her mama. Okay, let's put that. Oh my goodness, we're running out of spots to put this stuff, aren't we? Alright, there's one package. Okay. Now, here is number two. This is a short outfit. It's got three pieces to it. So it's got this little purple rom or run onesie with ruffly sleeves. And then it has the little shorts, little bloomer shorts, and then the little shirt that has little flowers all over it. It's so cute. I have this one in newborn too. And then we have this little outfit right here. All right, and it's a pair of little purple pants. And a little shirt that says future world changer <laughs> yeah so those outfits let's see those two and those two okay so i'm good to go the four yes 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 so yeah so i don't know I don't know how long John will be in Toronto, but it'll be a few days anyways, probably, but Andrew's here to help me with anything that I need help with, which is so handy, very handy. Whoop, I need to put something, one of these on here. Little decoration to make it look pretty. I gotta buy some more of these decoration things. Okay. I'm down to diaper pins pretty much left. <laughs> That's okay. Even if they just get diaper pins. Gotta get some variety though going back again. It's funny when you get all your stuff you use. Start using it all up, right? <laughs> Slowly but surely. All right, so this next outfit is these little pants, little purple, like mauve pants. And it has a little mauve shirt with little stars all over it. I have this outfit actually for my babies too. Yes, I do. have it for my baby and then this little short outfit it's brand new from carter's little uh sunset sun suit with little spaghetti type straps it's pink with little butterflies all over it so cute these are all things that i'd bought for her when all the i went online on carter's at the end of the summer and got 
caught some of their really good sales. Hmm. Yeah, I caught some nice sales at Carter's. So I grabbed up some summer clothes for her for this summer coming. And well, she's going to be living with somebody new, so she needs her short outfit. They were bought specifically for her, so I'm sending them with her. Yeah. Yeah. When you buy specific things for a specific baby, you just, that's the baby they need to be with. So I bought them for her, so she's going to take them home to her new house and get to wear them. Hopefully her mummy will send me some pictures of her wearing her new short outfits this summer. Maybe a picture of you lounging around this summer, eh, Brooklyn? Well, I don't even know what your name's going to be. You're going to have a different name. I'm sure it'll be a pretty name. I'm sure it'll be a pretty name. So this is the next two outfits. It's another little short romper. It's blue with light blue and pink, two shades of pink flowers on it. And little, so cute, little short romper. Fold that up. And then the last romper will go home with her. Excuse me. I love this one. This one's one of those ones that says, turn around. Turn me around so you can see the back. Oh, there's some of my hair. There we go. Okay. So it's got, it's pink with white polka dots and it's got pink and white striped pockets. And then on the butt, it's got a turtle with flower sunglasses. Oh my God. So cute. So yeah, that one's going to be adorable on her. All right. Make that like that. There we go tags like that there all right perfect last ribbon all righty oh that piece of tissue just just ripped That's not good when it rips. Yeah, it lost tissue. That tissue ripped while I was trying to fold it over. Pain in the butt. There we go. And last piece of ribbon on the back. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, I haven't heard from John yet today. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, things get figured out before too many days go by. I just I just want John to come home. <laughs> Not used to being away from him. The longest we've John and I've been apart is I went up north for a week. Um, when I think it was two different times. I went up one point and spent a week with my daughter while my son and my daughter-in-law had were having their baby had their baby i stayed at my my one daughter's house my daughter and i spent the night one night out at my son's house because he spent the night at the hospital with his wife so yeah it was the first time and i it was a hard i barely slept the whole week like it was the roughest week ever all right so we have four beautiful little packages here to go in her box and a baby bottle, and some candy, and some shoes, and a baggie of goodies, and her diapers. So yeah, there you go. There's her lovey-dovey. And 
We're going to put this diaper on her head to protect her head in transit. When, um, just a little tip for her mom, I, I, I wrote her out um, a thing of tips um, when her and I were talking last. She asked for any tips, so I gave her some tips on caring for a silicone. Um, one thing to remember is, you know, her head... Make sure you support her head, just like a real baby. Support her head. So there you go. There she's all wrapped up. Except I'm going to put her and her lovey will go on top. There we go. I'm going to put you in your blanket, little one. Put this up this way. Okay. So put her up. Yeah. And she has gloves, mittens on her hands. Ah, oh, one last hug. Oh, while I put your blanket down. One last hug. Down you go. All right. All right, girl. Blanket's over your head. All right, we're going to go this way. Tuck her under your bumble. Up at the end. Get your arm there. There we go. There we go. She's all wrapped up nice and snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> There you have it. So now I just have to put her. Oh, I know we forgot. We need one of those little tags. Where are they? Where are you? There they are. We need a tag to put on the front of her that says, sweet baby. Oh, and her paperwork is right there. There we go. Sweet baby tag on the front of her. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, there is our Fashion Friday for this week. Everybody say goodbye to Brooke or um, the Anascope, whatever you want to refer to her as. And she's going to have a new, wonderful new mommy and a new home. It's going to be amazing. She's going to be very happy. Well, everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little box packing of our sweet silicone baby. Well, everyone, thank you so much. Hit that like. Hit that dislike if you didn't like this video. But make sure you stay safe, everyone, and smile. Share a smile with a friend. Bye-bye.